Okay, today we're talking about TEKS 5.3C, dividing a four-digit dividend by a two-digit divisor, okay? So the 1,491 is my dividend. Seven is my divisor. Let's start with a single-digit divisor, and then we'll move on to number two with a two-digit divisor, all right? So my divisor will go on the outside of the house. Inside the house will be my dividend, 1,491. What I always like to do is create a place value chart above my dividend so that I don't accidentally place numbers in the wrong place value. So create me a little line in between each digit, okay? Now, I must see how many times can seven fit into 1,491. One strategy I like to teach is a T table to show the multiples of seven. This helps avoid making multiplication mistakes. So I have multiples of seven. So times one, two, three, four, and five. Seven times one, seven, seven times two, or seven plus seven is 14. Seven times three or, or seven three times is 21. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five, 35. If you noticed, I'm just skip counting by sevens. You can go further down if you would like, but let's just stop at five for right now. And if we need bigger numbers, we can keep going. Okay, now let's see. How many times, seven times what can give me one? Do we see one as an answer or an option on this list? No, I cannot multiply seven times anything to get an answer of one. So that must be zero. It's nothing. Okay, now can I multiply seven times something to get 14? Is there something on here that I can multiply seven by to get 14? Yes, I'm going to circle it. Seven times two gives me 14. The two goes above the four and the 14 goes below 14. Now I'm going to subtract. 14 minus 14 equals zero. Now I bring down my nine. Okay, and I do this process all over again. What can I multiply seven by to get close to nine without going over? Is there, are there any answer choices here that are close to nine without going over? Yes, seven. I circle this again. One goes above the nine. The seven goes below the nine here. And I subtract again. Nine minus seven equals two. Then I bring down my one. All right. Can I multiply seven times something to get 21? Is 21 an option here? It's right there. I circle this. Where does my three go? Exactly. The three goes up here and the 21 goes below 21. And I again subtract. Okay. That means 1,491 divided by seven equals 213. And this is my answer. Let's try number two. 1,716 divided by 13. Okay, 13 is my divisor. 
So 13 goes outside the house. 1,716 is my dividend. And this goes inside the house. 716. Remember, my first step is to create a place value chart so that I don't put numbers in the wrong place value. And I separate each digit. All right. Now, like I did before, I'm going to create me another T table to show the multiples of my divisor, which is 13. Let's start off with doing one through five. Okay. 13 times one is 13. 13 times two or 13 twice is 26. 13 times three or 13 three times. A simple way of thinking about it is adding 13 to 26. That is 39. If I add 13 again, I get 52. And if I add 13 to 52, I get 65. Once again, you can go further down, but let's see if one through five can help us. Can I multiply 13 by something to get close to one without going over? Is one anywhere on my list? No. So I place a zero. Now, is there a number that's close to 17 without going over? Yes, 13. So I circle this. 13 times 1 equals 13. The 1 goes above the 7. My 13 goes below the 17. I subtract. 7 minus 3 equals 4. And then I bring down the 1. Now let's look at our list. Is there a number close to 41 that will not go over? It's the closest to 41, but will not go over 41. 39. Notice, guys, I keep circling both numbers. I'm not circling just 39. I'm circling both numbers. The 3 goes above the 1. The 39 goes below 41. Subtract. I cannot take 9 from 1, so I must regroup. The 4 turns to 3, and the 1 turns to 11. 11 minus 9 equals 2. We know 3 minus 3 equals 0. And again, I bring down my number. Can I get to 26? I sure can, right here. My two goes here. My 26 goes below the other 26 and we subtract and now we have zero. That means that 1,716 divided by 13 equals 132.